What's going on? If you guys are new to my how to cop and resell guide prediction videos, the way I format these is I break them up into three different sections. And the reason I do this is because it gives you guys the information in the most organized way possible. And I also feel like it doesn't waste any of your time and it gets the information out really quickly. Uh, the three sections that first I'm going to talk about is the first, the general information about the drop. Secondly, I'm going to talk about how to cop your pair and what retail is going to be actually having this and how to cop the shoe. And then last thing we'll be talking about the resale predictions. So without wasting any time, let's get straight into the video. So the Jordan 6 Carmines are an OG colorway as we all know and the last time we saw this sneaker release was all the way back in 2014. So it has been a full 7 years before we've seen this actual colorway drop and especially Jordan brand has not been dropping a lot of 6s lately and the 2014 pair the market's going for between 330 to 360 US dollars. So nothing crazy on the pair but it is cool to see another OG colorway drop again and that's all between the common sizes. So if you are holding on to a pair of dead stock pair from 2014 definitely with all of these re-releases you do want to get your pair out of the way right now uh, because prices on the 2014 pair are going to be dipping down same thing i think happened with the jordan 4 black hats so the only difference between the actual pair that's dropping now uh, and this pair and then the one that happened in 2014 was they're adding back the Nike Air on the back tab of the shoe. So everyone really loves the Nike Air and the last time they did it was on the 1991 pair. So that's a really cool feature that they're adding back onto the Jordan 6 Carmines uh, for 2021. But besides that, I'm assuming they're just going to be using better materials. Uh, but besides that, I feel like all the color blocking and um, all the shades are going to be the same. In terms of the release date, this pair is going to be dropping on February 13th, 2021, and that's going to be a Saturday. And they're going to be dropping in men's, grade school, and preschool sizes. So the men's pair are going to be retailing at 200 USD. Usually pairs retail about 190, but I feel like Jordan Brand's moving all their pairs up to about 200 now. Um, the grade school pair is going to be retailing at 140 USD, and then your preschool pairs are going to be retailing at 80 USD. <laughs> So now that we've gone over some basic information about the 2021 release of the Jordan 6 Carmines, let's talk about how you can get your hands on a pair and where to cop them. Uh, and for this specific video, I'm only going to be talking about the North American retailers that carry the shoe. I know that the shoe is also dropping in Asia and Europe as well, but unfortunately I'm not going to be talking about that in depth in the video. Again, if you are in this video and you're watching from an area like that, I don't want to leave you guys empty handed. So I'm going to drop a link down below. Um, that's a full retailer list for Asia and Europe as well. But in this video, let's just get into depth about the North American retailers. So first of all, I have a list of all the major retailers that are carrying the shoe, but unfortunately it's not confirmed about how they're actually going to go about dropping the sneaker. It is safe to say that as we saw before, um, that they're dropping in men's, grade school, and preschool sizing. So we know that's going to be a wide quantity release. And it's very safe to, and very likely to say that all these retailers are going to be having a first come first serve basis online. And they're going to be dropping at 10 a.m. EDT or Eastern Daylight Time. So again, it's not official, but um, from a lot of past drops and have we seen before, it's definitely safe to say that that's probably how they're going to um, approach this release. So now I'll be going over all the major American uh, North American retailers that are going to be carrying the Jordan 6 car minds so it's going to be dick sporting goods you're gonna have nike sneakers us finish line jd sports us foot locker east bay and foot action oh, so again i just went over them pretty quickly but if you want links to all of uh, these retailers carrying them as well i'll be dropping it down in the description below so alongside all these major retailers i like to always say in all of my how to cop videos all you really have to do is a quick google search of sneaker boutiques near me and you'll be able to find a bunch of local sneaker boutiques that only are going to have the jordan 6 car mines and they're only going to be selling within your area so i live in the toronto canadian area so i do know a couple sneaker boutiques that aren't available for you guys if you guys are in the u.s watching this you guys can't purchase from there but i can so definitely to increase your chances you always want to hit up all of these local sneaker boutiques follow them on instagram and you can figure out if they're doing raffle first come first serve and definitely just because um they're only going to be you're only going to be competing with people in your local market definitely a lot easier and maybe a better chance of you getting your hands on a pair so those are the two main ways i always like to go about it sometimes i think the mass produced or the local the bigger uh, retailer is good to go for and then other times maybe in your small city i also think that the small boutiques are a really good great way to maximize your chances at getting a pair of the jordan six car mines uh, dropping on saturday so now probably the most important part of the video is is this shoe going to resell and what are the prices looking like so first place uh just start off a really good way to gauge it is let's look at the pre-sale prices so right now the jordan 6 carmine in men's sizes pre-sale hasn't dropped yet it's going for about 300 to 315 us dollars so they're refilling for 200 pre-sale prices are going for 300 and 315 so again not looking the best uh the nice thing is that it is an og colorway 
and it is going to feature the Nike Air, like I said before. So definitely sneakerheads and OG collectors are going to be paying attention in those. But unfortunately, just Jordan 6s don't have the same value as Jordan 4s or definitely Jordan 1s. So they're not as sought after of a model. I can see these as being a good quick flip. I could say maybe you can make a little bit of lunch money. I feel like this is going to be only going for 40 or 50 over retail. I can't really see these going past 230 to 250 max. Maybe on a few uni unicorn sizes or some odd sizes, you can see going up to 260. But I can see it going within that range. And I can see this being a really good long-term hold. Um, it's not going to do the same numbers like a pair of Fire Red 4s did just because that's a more softer model. Um, I can see it being a good hold and a really easy pair to get your hands on uh, just because, again, they're dropping in a, 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 like a lot of mass releases. That's what they do with a lot of OG colorways. So definitely that's another reason why the resale prices aren't going to be that good right on release day. So if you are going to pick this up, I'd say there's only going to be three options. Um, I'd really recommend just to pick these up as a quick flip, get them in, try to flip them locally. If you are going to hold them long term um, i'd say you need a lot and definitely pick up probably your grade school sizes but it's going to take a while for these these aren't really going to shoot up i feel it's going to be a consistent hold and then i feel like there's a lot of better holds so i probably avoid that but if you are and if you want to play a safe bet i definitely do think these are going to go up just in the long term probably a year or two and then lastly is obviously just to wear for personal so definitely if you are looking to resell and you don't have a lot of capital i'd probably say avoid this sneaker drop in general but um if you can get your hands on multiple pairs um and you are able to sell through ebay or locally definitely a good pickup besides that i went over again all the things like i said before we went over the general information we went over how to cop the shoe and then lastly the resale prediction so i didn't want to really waste your time if you guys do have any questions about the sneaker or just how it's dropping or you guys want to leave a comment make sure you leave it down below if you guys also do like the content I produce leaving a subscriber or like would really mean the world uh, but besides that i'll see you guys in the next video